Okay, so here we go again. This is uh, part three. Isn't it wonderful watching the snowfall? Um, anyway, water and uh, do you know the, the three essentials in life, the air, water and the, the ground itself. God, we have been so isolated from them. You know, our water, when you watch that video, to see how water has photographic memory and um, how it is, it picks up the emotions and it kind of takes on the qualities of um, the, the energy that it's connecting with, whether you're that energy or the ground or pipes or anything. And uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's, the, the air is polluted. Um, I've been seeing a lot about um, their chemtrails on the water in our oceans um, and oh, I should have, the, the video was on the Raw Gasmic channel in my favourites unfortunately but um, it was about how they're making these chemtrails in the oceans um, and you can see these vessels kind of going along and, and leaving these trails in the water and and the crosses and the zigs are exactly the same. It's and obviously the they people are well aware of everything that's going on um, that's that's out in the open. So um, all of these people who are working in the field of water have obviously put their stuff out there. Uh, Mr. Emoto of Japan has had his stuff out for years. Um, so it's no surprise that uh, the water is so, it's just dead, guys. I mean, that's the awful thing. I, how terrible is that? So the food we're putting into our bodies is dead because we should eat raw food. I did all the research into that years ago and um, went on the raw food diet, had my blood taken and... Um, my blood was like the blood of a healthy 21 year old and and I didn't have salt either I totally excluded salt told my uh, GP what I was doing and uh, she was very supportive so you know the the food we are eating is dead uh, the water we're drinking is dead um, and they are polluting the air that we breathe um, but the one thing that can change all of these is just is uh, emotions and energy of love and peace and bliss. And uh, that's why Mustafa and I both uh, blessed and blissed the water uh, before we drank from the stream. So, um, and the taste of that was just lovely. It was beautiful. Um, not like tap water. So who knows, maybe I'll be coming to collect wood and to get bottles of water to drink from here. Um, again, it's, I'm going to have to bring glass bottles because any bottled water you buy, it doesn't matter if it's come from, you know, the holy fount of wherever. Um, if you put it into a plastic bottle, um, it, it, it pollutes it. So it would need to be glass bottles. Anyway, this is a very distracted walk today because I am with Mustafa and uh, one of my dogs has gone missing and uh, I'm meeting people as well. It was very interesting. I had a lovely talk with that man about barefoot walking, grounding and free radicals. So uh, that was obviously meant to happen. Um, I'm going to go now because I want to know where my dog is and... Uh, until I know she's she's okay and we're all back together again as a family. Um, I'm feeling a little bit um, disjointed. However, the sky is, is looking really good and uh, there's blue there. Um, we've had just white sky for days now. Um, so, 
Right, I'm going to go and uh, catch you later. Keep looking up. Uh, you never know, you might see a bit of blue sky up there or even some beautiful little birds. And uh, remember to enjoy life, live it. It's exactly why you're here. So from Honey and Abby, wherever she may be, and my stuff and my feet, it's goodbye. Bye.